one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, one of the biggest specials you've ever seen here on Throwing on the Channel. This is a big special. This car is clean inside, man. Clean. Car ran great when I parked it. Should start right up. $495. Get it off my lot. I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm putting back some retakes or whatever. The video is coming up right now. The car is nice. It's faded paint. It did buff out again, but it's just, it's faded old paint. This car is nice. Restore it. Do whatever. $495. Seriously, it's a classic. You don't get puzzle backs like this anymore. This is badass. Give me a call anytime. 406-546-8748. It's late now. If you're interested in the car, I'll sell it to you right now. We'll get it done. Give me a call. Thanks for calling. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check out. Here goes the video. One Owner Car Guy. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful little 1983 Cadillac Seville. And as you can see, it's a true Cadillac because it's missing the piece of plastic there. They all do that, darn it. This here is going to be an exterior review. I'm going to go around this entire car, show you everything. Before we do that, I'm going to give you a quick once around um, on this exterior review. That'll be the underneath review too. And when you see the underneath review, yeah, I know I'm making up a word. Um, you see what's underneath. I'll show you the interior in a second video. I like to split them up to where I can just think exterior, exterior, exterior. So on this quick once around, I'm in a different spot here and I'm going a little bit farther so I can try and cut my shadow out of the car and you can actually see what I'm showing. I kind of did that. So that's the deal. That's your once around of this beautiful Cadillac. Uh, it's one or two owner car. Um, I'm going to just say two. Uh, I do know for sure it's one or two, I just don't know which. So two. We'll go with the highest to where anything better, anything different is, of a surprise is good for you. Yes, I did get a little tongue tied there. Been a long day, lots of detail. So, with that in mind, that's your once around. Now let's get down on the ground. Just like that, show you the underneath. Now this is gonna be a pretty straightforward video. Look at old plastic still here. Nothing's all ripped apart yet. Got some brush in there. A little bit. Oh, it was parked and a weed grew up in there. Guaranteed, look at that, it's stinking. That's why my hands are all filthy all the time. Doing that kind of stuff. Okay, so. Really clean, even the bushings there. Um, I'm sure at some point you're gonna upgrade something. You're gonna have a bushing go out or a starter stop. This piece is broken here. Um, you can put it in, make it match up there, but it's got a chunk or something missing there. So at some point you might want to replace that. And I'll show you the underneath here. See, the pans are just clean as can be. California cars. California cars are just nice as can be. I like a one and two owner California car. Montana, that come off right now. Get rid of the catalytic converter. Yes, sir. Can't do that here. Got a little bit of a damp pan gasket there. Um, very clean. Even the plastic shielding up in the wheel wells. Great condition. Let me show you the last place. Like that, which would be the trunk. trunk area. Not all banged up or nothing. In great condition. Look at how clean that muffler actually looks. Super clean. Super clean. Okay. That's the underneath. Now with that done, out of the way, me backing up away from the car, I've got pictures on my website, oneownercarguy.com. Other than that, we're going to start looking at this thing and seeing what we got and what's wrong with it and what's not. Um, I'm going to start, let's just start right from the front looking at this car. You need a trim ring. The paint on the hood is very dry. And I'm going to go, we got miscellaneous chips and stuff in here. No, not all rusted out, nothing like that. Just a little rock chips and stuff but it's very dry on the top see here smooth to the touch and all that but it's dry um, you'll also notice if 
few chips on the sides here. This is off a little bit of adjustment on both sides because of the hood struts. And I'll show you on the interior I do the motors. I was trying to think of how I do that. Okay, like I say, these pieces gone just like on all caddies. Um, he actually had a piece of tape over this one to keep as much of it there as he could. I love to see stuff like that. These pieces, oddly enough, are in great shape. They could just use a paint when you do it. But these will have to be replaced. All of them go. Amazing. I love looking over that ornament from either side. It's a Okay, now trim. Let's talk about trim. These cages are pretty easy to find for the other side there. This car has all the trim going down the sides and everything. It's in great shape. I'm going to show you it all. Just kind of give you an idea. This stainless trim going down here is just awesome. Now the back, same thing. That piece is gone. And you're going to have to buy it. It actually, this one is actually gone too. So, and to be clear, both sides. And that really gives it a nicer look too to have them pieces. Now I'll tell you something really weird that I can't, I can't get over. I don't know how Cadillac got away with probably the length of the car or something, but look at that bumper and the way everything is. I guess they just brought the whole car design back to the bumper and they updated the designs for the bumper by this year, whereas the bumpers in the older cars, like here's a Mercedes Euro bumper, pretty rare, look how it's nice and tucked in, versus that's how the American ones looked, it's like a park bench and you can sit on it. So my point is, Cadillac did really good design on these bumpers and it's all tucked up in there. I like it. Okay, going down the sides, ding, fading in here, especially on the arches that come out that the sun catches. This side is worse faded than the other side and there's a thing right there I'm going to show you. I'm just going back to the front. You can look down this side and see it's nice and pretty dang straight, but fading in here gets worse. The car needs paint, let's just put it that way. And there's a little gouge right there, like he got something in a parking lot or something. The pimple out right there. If that makes any sense. You can see that, I'm sure. Rocker panels. All there. And beautiful. Nice and shiny. Hubcaps. I'll tell you what. Great. One hubcap. Could use being taken off. Let's straighten out a bit. It has a dink in it. Um, this one has a dink, but it's just a little kinky dinky. A dinky dinky! Where'd you come up with that? I don't know. Okay, so. It's great. It's great. Got dust on this thing already from sitting here. Water spots, and that's it. This chrome is in great shape. Mirror. Needs a little couple dollar mirror. I like these things, the turn indicators. They flash when your lights are flashing. Okay, coming up and over the top. It's dry because it's just set in the, look at that dust from that road already. But it's in great shape. A couple little chips and a little mark there. Miscellaneous chips. spots there but it's just dry and needs paint now I don't know if this here's well I don't really know where my camera stopped there but I don't know if this stuff is factory because these cuts make me think he added it for kind of an extra effect on it and what really made me think it was this one maybe I don't know if it's I don't think it's original. I think he added that. It's like an extra Vogue package. Um, your window sweeps here are in great condition. By the way, a couple of little marks in the weather stripping like that. Um, okay, piece of the Seville logo flew off while we were cleaning it up. I showed you them parts. Small crack in this light. And I think this might have a piece that actually comes down here and drops, and it's one 
or two pieces there. I'm not 100% sure how that works. All this rubber and molding in your uh, bumper is in great shape. I'm sure you'll find a smudge here or there. In fact, that one is completely missing. But other than that, it's in great shape. Little marks here and there on the car. Paint's dry on the top surfaces. That's all there is to say about it. Rear defrost window. You can see the lines. Soft ray. Flow light. Solid. Solid, tempered, and heated. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, so now going down this side. All your stainless is in great shape. All in here. It's just all beautiful. And that's what I really like about these one owner and two owner California cars. Just clean. Now the paint sometimes will take a toll being outside. These holes here are from your cage surround that's not there. Uh, these wheels look good. Now I'll tell you, he was Michelin man. And this has got a Michelin MX-4 on it. Stinking Mercedes tire. And this has got a Michelin... See, it's a little wore down. MX-4. Okay, so those two match, but this one's taking a little more wear or is older. I believe he replaced them at different times because this is a good tire. It's a Toyo Premium Touring. Uh, great shape. And I actually, I don't have a compressor here today, and they could use a little air. This is a nice tire. It's a King Star, though. But it's got little titties on the side and everything, man. Plenty of tread, you name it. But it's got a mismatched set. The front two match and the back two don't. So, going on with showing you this side. I think it's in great shape. Ding here. Very not dinged up car, if that makes any sense. Some of the chrome on that, or chrome tape, is peeling on them pieces. Honestly, when you're restoring it, these pieces here, you can just take them off. And you can put those brand new on the car for like, I don't know, 150 bucks at the most. Just looks a lot better. Ding there. Same one that's on a Trans Am, actually. Like, the one in front of that green Mercedes. There it is. Okay, so, that is pretty much getting to be the exterior, except I want to disclose this window. See these little teeth up here? I don't know if you can see, it's not, and I didn't want to just silicone it and whatever. It's an easy fix and needs to be done. Okay, besides little dings and chips here, not dings, chips here, stuff like that. Look at this mirror, great shit. Little light, light. You really have to be looking hard to see any pitting there, but it's light startage. Startage! Where'd you get that word? I don't know. Rocker panels, great shape. These two hubcaps, great shape. And now I'll walk around as I think about if I showed you everything and such. Ooh. Ding here, and a few dings in this. So I'm gonna be upfront about anything I see. That's the only dings I've seen there, or damage on any of the rocker panel. Hard to see from most angles. Okay, so what you're getting here is this. It's an older car. It's not all restored. It's as classic as it gets. Some like the bustle back back, some don't like the bustle back back. You don't like it? That one will be on my website. Nice non-bustle backpack. Non-bustle back, back, back. Okay, so, great car, awesome car. It's in good shape and needs a paint job. It's the most paint job and the little plastic pieces in the bumpers as any of them. Um, and a couple little pieces of, like this here, I just noticed from a ways away, he bumped into something a little bit there with his thing. And, Oh, that looks good. The car runs great. You know, I've got some stinking tape on that. Now, how did I get... No clue. No clue. No clue. So we didn't even really... Didn't even really detail it right, but it's for sale. 
Yeah. That's pretty much the deal. So, if you want a neat car that you really ain't got a lot of work to do on, or you know what you got when you get done doing the work, and somebody ain't put Bondo all over it and fixed all kinds of rust, and you're buying somebody else's big issue, well, this is it. This old guy took care of it, and there's little things inside that you're going to see that you're going to be like, wow, he took the time to do that, etc. Thanks for watching. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. Call me, Nathan. Call me Nathan, yeah. 406-642-9602. Beautiful car. I'm going to do the interior here. And if you're watching the full video, it's going to come up right now. If you're not, well, give me a day or so, and it'll be up right after. I'll combine them in about a week. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Cansoup. .com. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. and what I got here for you today is the interior review on this 1983 Cadillac Buzzle Bag Cadillac. And I'm gonna do you a once around just like I usually do because I like to get it in a couple different lights. And as you can see, that sun is just, I'm ahead of it tonight, I guess you'd say. I mean, it's right there. I mean, give it a couple minutes and it's going to be down enough to where everything would work. And so I figured I'd start it now to where I could do my walk around. You can see it in this darker light with no big hands in it. You know, sunlight rays. And then it should be dyed down a little bit to do the interior after I show you under the hood. Oh, that's water. I was wondering what that was. I thought it was air. Okay, so interior. Beautiful car. This is your once around of the outside of this video. Maybe you just seen the entire exterior review. If not, you should check it out. Um, and then here we go. This car um, does have an issue with the tranny that I show in this video. So, that's that. So, let me think here. Let me think here. Interior. <laughs> that sun's throwing me off. I just ain't got, it just ain't down enough yet. Because when I open it up, well, that's pretty good. It's just on the inside. You can see on the back headrest there. Um, and like right there, it leaves that big light spot to where you can't see what we're looking at. My camera won't adjust exactly right. So it's just easier to wait about a couple minutes. And since I got to show you under the hood anyways, hey, and I can show you that I got all kinds of classics here. And I got yards and yards more full of them. Okay, here we go. Let me get this up for you. <laughs> now when you open these hoods it takes a little finesse on this particular one hey Josh could you help me for a sec and then little struts are wore out and I'm gonna have him help me actually hold it open on this one I usually have a little stick that I have in to put in here but I'm not gonna be that long in there I figured just to have someone hold it real quick. The motor's in great condition. There's only 89,000 original miles. Um, 89? I believe so. I'll show you that when we get inside. Um, everything is in great shape. You can hear Breeder over there. Hey. I put actually some fluid in it, and I'll explain that when we get to the inside too. Um, I did too. And normally I wouldn't just throw them, but hey, it's what we're doing right now. So I'm just kind of showing you everything here. You could actually pick stuff off all you want, but it is... There's your sticker there. I'm going to cross over, show you from this side. AC and all. And it is neat to show this for across the pond there in lots of places. Actually, I've done a few of these to um, New Zealand, Australia type area, which is pretty cool. Um, hood insulation still here with all the little plugs. It does have a tear or two here or there. Um, this is getting a little thin. Probably swung a belt up into it or something, or the hose getting hot. I don't know. Um, that's that. Now the light. You know, I'll bet this is one of those years. This is the dumbest thing in the world. Where you gotta have your headlights. Did they come on yet? No. How about now? Okay, so that bulb is out. Some of these in this year, you have to have your headlights on for that to work. So, um, that's that. Okay, these are bad, and that's why Josh is here helping. These motors are either good and they keep going, or they're not. 
Does that make any sense? If you maintain them and stuff and you get a one or two owner one, I believe they're pretty good. And I'll tell you what, even the heat shield down here and everything, just a clean, clean car. Thanks, man. Okay, so we'll get on to the interior now. And you can see it's just slightly out of adjustment because then things aren't pushing it back up enough. Okay, interior. All the lights come on and stuff. Door panels look great. Dash and all that. Seats are in good condition. Carpets and stuff and pedals. Look at them pedals. Nowhere, man. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and get in here and start showing. Actually, let's show this seat before we sit down. Yes, sir. Who's we, by the way? It's in great shape, as you can see. And you've got a little bit of the piping is actually top of the piping is out on that. A little fold over starting there. That's the piping one too. It's all in the piping. Um, this has a little bit of scuff mark type thing. So you got one tear there. One little poke there. So you could replace just that centerpiece if you wanted. I just leave it or get them wool covers. This one over here is in great shape. A little bit of fold over there. It's not ripped. It's just folded over. That is an actual tear or something in the metal. No, these are tears, just kind of fold over from sitting there, you know. That one, one is small, one not really going nowhere. Rest and such. All right. Do it to it. Okay. Um, there's no antenna button. No, the antenna didn't pop up, so you know. AC blows, does not blow ice cold. It's cool, it's not ice cold. No serene. Very clean. Am I in Celsius, I think? I am. Oh, I can do that up here, maybe. Yeah, there we go, that was it. Ah, I was wondering why all of a sudden it was showing 17. I'm like, I ain't got no 17 gallons in here. So here's the deal. Let me turn this down. That light came on lately. I don't know why. Anyway, listen to this. Very nice. But what I want to show you about that is this. The no charge light comes on. However, once you've let it run a while, watch. Like up there is charging. So I'm thinking the battery's a little dead. One or the other, I'm just being upfront about everything about it. Now your broken mirror over there that I told you about. Out, in, down, up, it works. It's just got a little, needs a little $10 mirror. I don't know what them are nowadays. Out, in, down, up. It's like the original Robocop. So, windows. Let's see. Yes, sir. Think about that. The light comes up when it, yeah, it's just low. In fact, it's got dimmer from just sitting here running. And now I bet you I ain't gotta, actually when you rub it up, it gets brighter. And then it'll get less. Until it goes away, okay. Now I doubt the windows are ever taken down much and they work and I've had them down, but you could grease the tracks or something to where you don't break them out. That's the thing, I, I just don't know how much they've been used, you know? The strong sounding motor though. That's all they go down halfway. That was the years when my mom and dad were buying these caddies. It's like, oh man. 
Okay, there and there. Crack. The rest of it's beautiful, not even the speaker grill. And they're flush tracks too, so that's nice. And it doesn't come over the lip yet, really. Just a tiny bit there. Okay, digital display on the radio. I don't know what that is. Um, you've got no data here because I've reset and we haven't went nowhere. 0, 0.0 is showing, I believe. At least an average is zero. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, let's go ahead and show you the owner's manual. Sorry. Not that I think you're reading all that. Oh, it's tucked in there. I'm trying to figure out 84 Seville owner's manual. That doesn't go with this car. Who's thinking I've got the wrong one in here? Because I've got the 83 right here. I know this for a fact. I bet you must have got it. You know what? That's out of my 84. I had an 84, a black one. So, whatever. That don't come with it. That's the other one. This comes with it. That's the owner's manual for it. It's in good shape. I'm sure the spine is getting a little older. I don't want to open it too much, but yep, a couple pages came out there. A guy would want to make sure and be careful with it. Maybe even rebind it or something. Scan it! Copy it. Did that light come on? That light came on. What a deal. The clickety clickety trunk latch works. Now let's talk about this over here. Boomity boom, that light comes out, hanging out. This here, got a split on it, right there. This here, the foul wood, is just a little bit delaminated. This piece, it's humped up a bit, and your buttons are delaminating a bit too. I was just doing this the other day. And I locked myself out of a car. And I really honestly do not feel like this one's getting locked. Or unlocked. I don't know which way is which now though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop that door to where I don't lock myself out. I locked myself out of the other Seville. Okay, I'm going you that. Trash can is right there on this one. Kind of cool. The guy sewed a piece of this over. Sorry. Hang on. Of this over the carpet on this side. It doesn't look bad underneath, but he also glued it. It's the original factory Cadillac stuff with the logos like that. So whatever. That's what he did. Show you here in the back. Look at this shag, baby. It's beautiful. So are the seats. I don't think there's any kind of damage back here. A little scuff right there. A little scrape across, but it's not all torn. There's that. Package tray. A couple little marks right there. This dryer. This one he must have carried some stuff in. Um, and actually, he's got this here, where you can actually bind it back together in there. Yeah, the original straps just need to be retightened. That's exactly what it is. You can just retighten. Yep, it needs the straps retightened. That's an easy fix, and I wish I would have done that. Sorry. In fact, I probably will before I do my pictures, at least halfway. Trunk's in great shape. It really is a nice little car. All the carpet and everything is all up in here, even on the hinges. Jacking instructions and such. As you can see, this piece kind of pops out a bit. The cardboard, and I got this to where I can hold the trunk up. The spare, tell you what, I don't even think it's been on the road. No way. 
little titties all over the top. So that's all there. This guy's gonna have to start. People are gonna have to start putting these together better for me. That gas tank unlatch. So that's your trunk. It's in great shape. Light and everything's all good. Now this actually goes over this like so and somewhere in here it gets pushed in here a little differently however there is an issue here with this wow that used to have carpet color sprayed stuff on it and it's came off to where it's black here now you can see that you could all scrape it all off if you wanted so the latching has a problem here on this. Okay, show you on the other side. Ah, I left this open, I remember that now. You know what the bad thing is? Okay, I can get in the back. As I say, I don't even know if I can get in the other page. You know, I'm gonna do this right now. There ain't no reason why not. Yeah. Easy fix, but I wish I wasn't doing it on video while you're sitting here, and I won't find the time to edit this. I'm almost positive. That's my beagle. Tinybeagles.com. And actually, it's pulled this in here like I didn't want it to. That might be the only way to do it. Make this a little quicker for us here, Nate, would you? Ah, ha, ha, I dropped my camera. Well, this just is not what we were looking for. It'd be so much easier to do when you wasn't on the spot like this. I just know no matter what I do here, I don't think I'm going to have enough leverage in here to make it stick very well. That's a little better though. And what that needs is the same thing done here now, or here, where you can pull it up. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, the plastic's down there. Great shape. This thing. We'll put it up right here. Yeah, it looks decent when we take pictures. We, we, we. Who's we? I don't know. I think the. Oh, that little piece right there. The stuffing. <laughs> stuffing. The wrapping is coming off of headliners in beautiful shape. Beautiful shape. All the plastic around the windows, look at that. Door panels back here, great shape. All this, great shape, great shape. Missing a red light here, easy part to get. It's that one right there. You even replace that. It's okay, baby. It's my dog, tinybeagles.com. And that's the way the carpet should look on the other side. Okay. Um, that's the deal. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. Interior review. You've seen all the dash now that looks great. You've seen under the hood that looks great. Doors open and close nice. This car's nice. That's all there is to say about it. Um, I showed you everything. Interior, exterior. One owner car guy.com. Can soup.com. And oh, the last thing. Since we were doing interior. I didn't tell you. The last thing is, not the last thing I told you about it before, how the tranny. Actually, put it in reverse. Sometimes it backs up. But, I just found out there's no fluid in it. My guy tested it and there's no fluid. I know the thing drives great and forward. I mean, 
However, you don't want to get stuck with no backer. So that is the worst thing on this car. Um, well, I did show you the locks that we weren't exactly sure about. Let me show you the seats here. Back, forward, down, up, tilt forward, tilt back. Now that's what you're getting with one of these. Tilt that on the back, tilt up at the back. All eight ways or whatever. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all eight ways. That's awesome. Okay. Well, that's that. We've got it done to it. Done to it. Whatever you want to say. Symphony sound, baby. Thanks for watching. That is your Cadillac Seville review. And I'm going to take my interior pictures now. Once more round pictures and call it good. Check out the website, wonderkarguy.com. We'll talk to you. I want to make sure that everybody knows that this visor material up here is loose. It's got little coals and tears. A couple of them. And he actually put this little thing here. It's like a... It's like that thing. Hang on now. This is just wrong. I gotta show you this. That's all there is to it. This is just what I do to make, to make sure of this. I want to make sure that you see that and that. And that's how he... put that together. So, now you know. And this, that clips right back in that hole. It could use some tinkering, and I'm sure, yeah, the way it is, you need to put it to where it's around this stuff, and it would look better. But a guy could just replace that panel. Well, that's the deal.